Skalding is a historical home to many Viking clans of Eltam, with the ruling clan being the Skalds. Because of the rich Viking culture in Skalding, many nations hire warriors for wars and raids from them. In addition to that, the Vikings of Skalding are known to be great merchants and sailors. Because of that, the nation's economy is booming. Skalding started as a simple city named Valheim and Plagatia. Valheim is located in the most southwest corner of Eltam. Plagatia was a crumbling world power at the time, with many enemies and targets. After mistreatment of the Viking culture and religion, Valheim decided to rebel. The two leaders of Skalding being Zorotli and the co-leader C. Cloak reached out to numerous world powers including the AWE, Nova Estonia, Goongard, and many more mounting up an army of over 100 players. At the time, Plagatia was dealing with a Rathnir front. The huge amount of pressure from both worlds made them collapse. The entirety of Plagatia was supposed to go to Skalding, but Nova Estonia did a behind-the-scene deal with Plagatia about getting most of the land. The deal resulted in a large tension between both nations. After Skalding independence, a huge diplomatic voyage was on the way to secure Skalding independence in the world, getting many allies along the way. AWE, Rodenbroke, and Drakkar. For example. In addition to that, Skalding started working on their military might to boost defensive capabilities, resulting in the formation of the Skald's mercenary group. The huge boost of diplomatic skills and military power resulted in a large land growth by helping small nations out. After a while, many of the nations decided to join Skalding. Nova Estonia and Santoji worked together on spreading false information about Skalding and their government. This act made Shiroyama citizens to have the wrong impression on Skalding and hate their government and culture. Shiroyama left Scalding and decided to join Nova Estonia. This act made the tensions even higher. Because of Nova Estonia's backstab against Scalding, Scalding knew that if it wanted to protect her lands, it needed to form foreign relations. Scalding came up with the idea of creating a coalition that would protect each other from these kinds of situations. The Iron Brotherhood was created, with many small nations that vowed to protect each other and share economic secrets together with a goal to stop Meager Nation's influence. The coalition contained Scalding, Ionios, Aria, Heli, Eldercrest, Korshachev, Ilistra, Ianberg, and Sulia. Ionios reached out to the Iron Brotherhood because according to Ionios, Helsia sent bandits to attack Ionios and harass their citizens. Elder Crest, one of the Iron Brotherhood members, decided to invite Helsia to talk about the situation. Helsia denied Ionios' claims. Scalding decided to go and investigate. Sea Cloak waiting for bandits in Ionios' land and found out that a few Helsian members were raiding there. After confronting Helsia about this, they claimed that they don't control their members and they can raid whoever they want from. From this information, Scalding gathered that they were aware that the bandits only focus on Ionios. The Iron Brotherhood suggested to sign an non-aggression pact between the nations to stop this, but this was rejected by Helsia. Scalding saw this rejection as an act of aggression and threatened them that if there will be another bandit attack, there will be consequences. This conflict made one of the Iron Brotherhood members, Illistra, leave the coalition and support Helsia in the conflict. Illistra and Scalding were great friends even after they left the Iron Brotherhood. Illistra decided to leave their overlord Olderesh and gain independence. Illistra reached out to Scalding for help and decided to become a vassal of Scalding. Scalding tried the best to help out Illistra and managed to finish this with diplomacy and signed a peace treaty with Olderesh. This act of kindness resulted in the decision of the Illistra government to merge completely into Scalding and to create the province of Illistra in Scalding. The Chancellor of Illistra was promoted to Chieftain, the highest rank in Scalding. Because of the continuous Helsian assaults, Sea Cloak reached out to Ionios and offered them Scalding protection if they joined as a province of Scalding. After many days of thinking, Ionios decided to accept this deal and to create the Ionios province in Scalding, later known as the Grand Ferencian province. After the recent expansion of Scalding, Scalding decided to focus on stability and getting players instead of in involving themselves in war. Zerotli decided to focus on strengthening the relations of many nations, this being in the form of four diplomatic voyages, sending an MDP or a mutual defensive pact with Atletia, an NAP with a Rodenbroke, an alliance with Ianberg, even the vassalization treaty of Mor during only the first diplomatic voyage. Uraka started to collapse with the new rebellion fighting the government of Uraka. Many provinces had the chance to go independent and start their own path. Czech, the leader of the province of Arkan, decided to reach out to Skalding in request of joining their kingdom. Skalding accepted this and formed the new Skalding province of Arkan. Just a reminder, I have nothing against the Volpiria. Ianberg was on the edge of collapsing, and their in-game leader had real-life sickness to take care of. But at the same time, a rebellion supported by the Volpirium happened in Ianberg, making the leader Berg signed a document against his will. When Scalding heard of this, Scalding jumped to support Ianberg with the rebellion because Ianberg was a loyal ally of Scalding. Volpirium threatened to declare war on Scalding and joining a direct war on them and by that breaking the mutual defensive pact 
between both nations. This resulted in tensions that would later cause the EA Volperium War. The EA or the Eltam Alliance contained Scalding, Velerin, the USSC, and Sylvania. At the time that the EA was formed, the Volperium raided the city in the USSC. This raid was caused by tensions from the mass Volperium denouncements. As a response, the EA declared war on Volperium, requesting 15 million coins in reparations for all the past mistreatment. The conflict is currently going on right now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. It's free and really helps out the channel. Thank you. Peace out and goodbye.